This morning, the Moody Center will reach a major construction milestone with the final beam placing on the 530,000 square foot entertainment venue. The grand opening is set for next April and some major acts have already been announced. Tier Newbaum is live on the construction site with a look, Tierra. We talked about the music aspect, but now we're talking sports. Let's talk basketball, Leslie. This is such an exciting facility for Texas men's and women's basketball. I'm joined by head coach Vic Shaver. He's the women's head coach for Texas basketball. And coach, what does this facility mean to your program? Well, it's certainly going to be uh, the palace of the South. I mean, it's a, a beautiful, beautiful place. It's going to impact so many people, so many young people's lives. but. Just the investment uh, that the Moody's are making here, um, it will not only impact our student athletes, our community here in Austin and our campus, but this is something that will impact our state. And uh, we just appreciate so much their, their trust and confidence. Our job now is to bring them a national championship. And uh, uh, again, um, we're excited about the opportunity. You guys will start here in the 2022 season. What kind of home court advantage does a facility like this bring? Yeah, well, you know, obviously the facility will be first rate and, and it'll be an awesome environment. The way the, the roof is made, it'll, it'll make the acoustics really bad, which is good. And, um, and so again, the home court advantage that we're excited about, again, we gotta have fans. You know, you gotta, that's part of building a program. That's why we were hired. And uh, part of building a program is building your fan base. And our fans are gonna wanna be in this beautiful facility night in and night out because it will be a tremendous home court advantage. You know, you mentioned that. What is your message to the community to come out, get behind both of these basketball programs and this facility? Well, all you gotta do is come one time. If you come one time to see us play, you'll be back. We'll make your life more difficult and more busier than it is because you won't want to, you know, it's just a, once you see us play, how hard we play, you won't want to miss a game. And uh, that's the style of play that we bring. Uh, I think it's a, it's an up-tempo, exciting, pressing style. It's, it's a style that when you bring your daughter, your son, when you walk out of the arena that night, you, you look at them and say, you know what, I want you to play like the Texas women's basketball team plays. I want you to play like Rory Harmon, Aaliyah Moore, uh, Kendall uh, Hunter. I want you to play like those kids. And so that's, that's the thing that I think we do, and we do really well. I love that. Can't wait to add those to my schedule as well. So recruiting-wise, you know, how has this helped you, and how will it continue to help you? Yeah, for sure. Well, we just signed the third-ranked class in the country. They're Amazing. all freshmen right now. We, we're certainly having success right now out there on the road. I mean, when you talk about a, a place, a, a $550 million arena, um, be state-of-the-art, the best of the best. It's the best place in the country to train. Um, it, it's, it's really um, obviously a, a great bullet point and selling point for us here at Texas. And uh, again, I think people get excited when they know they could have the opportunity to play in such a beautiful place, to be a part of such a tremendous university, a home court advantage. And so it, it certainly helps us. Uh, and I think, it, you know, in the future, it will continue to do so. Absolutely. Personally, what are you most excited about? Well, you know, I'm, I'm from, t from Austin, from Texas, and uh, been back now a year. Um, as we talked earlier, born across the street here at Breckenridge Hospital, which is no more. <laughs> uh, but just the opportunity to come, to back, come back to my home state and um, you know, really do what they hired us to do, which is restore the, the, the great tradition and history of Texas women's basketball. What Coach Conrad built um, in the 80s and 90s and the 2000s, uh, that's our job. This place is gonna really benefit that, that challenge. And uh, again, I'm excited to be back. I've, I've lived in this state now 46 out of, out of 60 years, not to date myself, but this is a place that's been so good to me. Um, as, we were as I mentioned earlier, my, my parents are both buried in LaGrange, not far from here. And it's just afforded me an opportunity really to get back to my roots. But uh, in my profession, this is a place that's invested. They're invested in young people. Uh, the University of Texas is invested in young people. Our athletic department is invested in young people. They're, they, we want to be the best, and that's where I want to be. I want to be around those people. I, I hire people that are winners, 
uh, and, and, and that's what I choose, you know, that's what I need to surround myself with. You can't do it by yourself. So we're going to win. I've got to be at a place that wants to win, that's going to invest in our young people. And I think that's what's exciting about being at the University of Texas. It's a place that is invested in success and uh, both academically as well as athletically. So from a standpoint of a guy that's been around 36 going into 37 years in coaching, man, I couldn't be at a better place. Extremely exciting times going to be happening right here. Great opportunity for these programs as well. Coach, thank you so much for your time this morning. I appreciate y'all. Praise the Lord and hook them. Hook them. We'll uh, check in with you guys in a bit, and we'll check in with Coach Beard, talk about the men's program a little bit. But, Leslie, for now, we'll send it back to you. All right. Hook them. <laughs> Thanks, Tierra.